Right, welcome guys, it's FIFA Joker here for another FIFA 21 YouTube video. And today we've got the Team of the Week week review, Team of the Week 23. And what a bunch of players we've got this week. A nice, good selection of players here. Now, if you see, if you like what you see here, make sure to hit that sub button, like the video and leave a comment below. And let me know what you think of the Team of the Week and give itself a rating as I will do at the end of the video. And if you want to see me go live, streaming live on Twitch, I stream every day at half five UK time, except for a Monday. So make sure to uh, check me out on Twitch. The link will be down in the description below. And um, yeah, make sure to come and check us out. We, we get up to a lot of things, lots of packs, foot champs, rage, everything. Make sure, you know, if you want to come and check that out. So as I said, we've got a very good group of selection of players, good players of fodder. And obviously, the highest rate we're going to check out first is Robert Lewandowski. Got another uh, team of the week, as you know already. He's got a team of the year card, and that is four ratings below. But if you need to get that, Lewandowski would be very good if you've got a Bundesliga player, Bundesliga team, sorry. So he will be good. He looks very nice. And then next, we've got this guy. Now, this guy is extinct on the market. And he's only 84 rate, but look at those stats, man. 96 pace, 94 sprint speed, right? Absolutely quick. He's got great agility, like 98 agility, 84 balance. Dribble is incredible. He's got great shoot stats already. What a card for, you know, for an 84 rated card. So, you know, if you get him, you know, I'll be very happy if I get him in my red picks. Uh, also, we've got this guy. I think this guy will probably pop up quite a bit. Is a Joku. It's an 86 rated. Doesn't look too bad. It, obviously, his balance is very, very low. His agility is low as well. So, but he will be probably a good card for fodder. And I think the uh, second, uh, probably hardest card to get this week will probably be this guy, Frankie De Jong. He's uh, not long had his uh, first uh, inform only a few weeks ago. But now he's got another one, and as you can see, it's a very, very good card. Very well rounded. Obviously, the shooting stats a bit down, but that's not what you're going to be using him for. You're obviously going to be using him as a box to box or a DM. But again, another cracking uh, player. And like I said, there's very good selection. Bale finally gets his first team of the week. He scored two goals against Burnley and got an assist. Um, was very, very good for Tottenham. His second goal was very good, it like he was coming back to his best. So if you do have that once to watch, and you've been waiting all game uh, for him to get an upgrade. He's finally got an upgrade. For me, still, the three-star weak foot does put me off, but he's got four-star skill moves. He's got decent pace. His balance is still a bit low. For me, personally, his body type doesn't really suit me. I still think he's a bit heavy, but I'm sure a lot of people will be happy if they get him. Also, Pepe gets his second in form recently. And obviously, me being an Arsenal fan, I'm happy. I would love to get Pepe in my red picks and my rewards. But again, he's got great pace, good at dribbling, uh, not bad pass, passing stats. Maybe put a dead eye on this guy would be good. But again, the problem is the two-star weak foot. You know, obviously, you want to have to be at least four-star and five-star. Uh, and then we've got the defence. So we've got defence here. So we've got a Godin, 86 Godin. Again, this card will be as fodder, to be honest. He's too slow. He's probably going to feel too heavy. And, you know, he's just not going to keep up with, especially the really high-rated attackers we have now of all their special cards. And then we've got a Ruben Diaz. Now, obviously, he's not going to be as good uh, as his other special card, but it's still nice um, for him to get an upgrade. Obviously, he's still a bit slow, um, but his defending and physical is not bad. He'll still kind of struggle, but he's not too bad. And then Jan Yana Black, 92 rated. Obviously, very good goalkeeper. Um, and overall, it's a to me, I think it's a pretty decent team of the week. And then you look at the bench, obviously, there's a lot of low rates here. Interested in this guy, Claude Maurice, a centre mid, probably one of the quickest centre mids I have ever seen, just for an 81. And he's got 97 agility, he just looks like he's got more over winger stats, so that's interesting. Um, and then other than that. The bench is not great, but overall the team is very good. Who do I think I'm probably going to get? Well, I'll probably get one of the 81s or the 82s, but I'll be happy just to pick up one of the 84s, really. I'm not going to get a Lewandowski or De Jong, 
but you never know my luck might change but you have to let me know who you get in rewards so to put a rate into this team i'm going to give this seven seven and a half like there's not a renowned or a mess or anything like that but overall as a team it's a very nice team you know a few of those players could improve your team or a lot of those players could be really good fodder so i'm going to give that a seven to seven and a half out of ten let me know what you think uh, of the team and the rating if you want in your red picks uh going on for thursday obviously the rewards have been done by now while i'm recording this um but yeah so that is the team of the week um hope you enjoyed the video make sure like i said hit that sub button make sure to like the video leave a comment below and i will see you next time for another video i will see you then